Ten years ago, he was Robert Cordero, senior class president, Dunmore High School, a student always ready to talk politics and current events. We see some students who are leaders, and we definitely can identify as future leaders. And I would say Bob was definitely a leader, and we knew he would be a leader. Today, he is Robert Cordero, Democratic candidate for Congress, 10th District. This afternoon, he stood in front of a home owned by 13-term incumbent Joe McDade and said McDade is out of touch because he hardly ever comes home. If you don't live here, you can't really know the people. You can't really know the problems that they, that they are living with and dealing with on a daily basis. Cordero presented a McDade voting record that showed a long list of absentee ballots cast in primary and general elections and said he can't understand why McDade does not spend more time here. Congress is designed for the congressman to spend at least half the year here. The 28-year-old challenger says McDade does not provide enough representation, it's leadership, an and financial support to this area, and that he wants to change. He also realizes the incumbent has soundly beaten off any challenges to his office. The ladder that Bob Cordero has to climb to victory is a long and slippery one, and it's one that many people have tried before. But Cordero says that he's got the battle already halfway won, and that's name recognition. And now in the coming weeks, he says he's going to get his issues out to the people, and that should give people something to think about. Brian Francis, Eyewitness News, Scranton. Ten years ago, he was Robert Cordero, senior class president, Dunmore High School, a student always ready to talk politics. We see some students who are leaders, and we definitely can identify as future leaders. And I would say Bob was definitely a leader and we knew he would be a leader. Today he is Robert Cordero, Democratic candidate for Congress, 10th District. A candidate who believes this area is moving forward, but not fast enough. And I believe it is because the talents of our people are not being utilized. And that's the whole idea of my campaign. Another major part of Cordero's campaign is his claim that his incumbent opponent does not spend enough time in his home district. About a month ago, Cordero drew headlines and the ire of his opponent, Joe McDade, when he stood in front of McDade's home and produced his opponent's absentee election voting record. The Democrat says McDade is not willing to make the trip home. People uh, 60, 70 years old can do it. A person 57 years of age, such as Mr. McDade, can do it as well. He's chosen not to. The 27-year-old candidate realizes his opponent has not been beaten in two and a half decades. But Cordero says his campaign is different. His time has come. To really push this man, to really call him on his record, and I think now is the time. And it's not because I'm such a great candidate, but I think the people are ready for a change after 26 years. But the strength of Cordero's push remains to be seen. His campaign has admittedly small funds, but the young Democrat has tried to make up for that shortcoming with a good old-fashioned press-the-flesh campaign. Tonight on Nightcast, we'll profile Republican incumbent Joe McDade. Brian Francis, Eyewitness News, Scranton.